Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maris Dimba, and today I'm going to show you how you can create your project thumbnail. The thumbnail is just a simple image that normally apply, that normally appear just next to the folder or, or your project folder. This simple file will make your work easier to have a preview of what you've been working on. Or maybe you have the project that have the same name but uh, the design differ. So the image or the thumbnail that normally uh, sits or uh, placed just next to, to the description of your project or the name of, of your project make, makes your sorting out on the files much easier. So if you take a look at the screen here, I have my new model, new, my new model 30, 30. So in here, we don't have that thumbnail. So what we are going to do, we want to create the thumbnail. So if I switch back, if I go to the next folder, if I click on that shopping mall right there, you'll be able to see I have an image. So this makes my order of sorting the file very easy. So if I'm looking for a particular file I want to open, I'll be able to see exactly what I'm looking for. So if I go back to, if I go to new model, I'm not able to see, I don't have a thumbnail, I don't have an image that shows or give, uh, that shows the preview of what I should expect. If I go to the next one, I'll be able to see that. That is still detailing. If I come to that, I don't have. If I come to that, I'll be able to see. If I come to the next one, I don't see. If I come to the next one, I see. And that and that. So I want to show you how you can create the image for your model folder or window. It's normally called a thumbnail. Thumbnail is just an image of your uh, of your project in particular structures. Now let's move ahead and now uh, open new. So I'll go ahead and click open new. So you click on open new. I'll give you some time to open. So just be patient. Now I have my window in place already. And now we want to create a component. And now it, it will not be a very, we, we just want to create a beam or a column, then create a thumbnail and assume that, that is our project. So our key point here today is just to create a thumbnail for our project so that it helps you in sorting out or looking or, or track down your project folder with ease or without any uh, headache at all. Now, I'll come to beam here. So once I've come to beam, I'm going to pick a particular point where I want to place the beam and I'll place it somewhere here. So I want to make it slightly big or bring it more slightly big so that you know I capture the thumbnail, it will be something like, uh, it, it will look something uh, more presentable. Now, now let me just um, uh, add some details on this particular beam. I'm going to take it slightly up of the zero level and I'm going to change this profile to a bigger one. I'll come to, maybe the, uh, I'll pick this one. I'll come to IPE maybe here, I'll, pick, I'll come to IPE here. And maybe I want to pick a bigger one. Let me, let me try universal beam. Universal beam. Which one do we have? A bigger one. And uh, I'll just leave it at 400 here. So I'll go ahead and click apply and give it an OK. So what I'm going to do here, we want to create a thumbnail for this particular uh, member. So how do you create that? It's a very easy easy process, and it's always it's, it's always a tool that you normally see on the screen that maybe don't you don't know its purpose. And that is you come to view and you come to you come to screenshot and a screenshot here we you'll click this drop down list and we have the screenshot for for taking for taking the screenshot for the component uh, custom component and we now have the project thumbnail here so if you select the project thumbnail we'll be able if the moment you click on it if you look at the bottom of the structure here you'll be able to see you're being told to pick the view now we want to define the, our view from that section and just press your left button on the mouse and hold and create a window like to cover the whole project. So we'll assume this beam is our project and you want uh, a project thumbnail or an image that represents our project so that when we try to track down the folder of the project we are working on, we are not trying to look on the name only. We can also have the name that applies to same project, but the image is different. So I'll just leave it on that spot. So if you leave it, you'll be able to see the particular stack is trying to capture or create an image of the same. So if I come to file now and try to open, please note that our model is called new model 31. So if you come to open, then come to all models, 
and uh, maybe you pick on new model 31 if you click on it or just mouse on it you'll be able to see we have the thumbnail right there if you click on it you'll be able to see the thumbnail so you'll, you'll have the option of maybe opening it so if you take that opportunity now to take it have a, a different look from it maybe when immediately we start the tecla structure will be will we be able to see it so uh, generally or mo most of the time make sure you save your project first of all to to make sure your thumbnail is, is intact so if we now close down tecla structures and now try open it up and try to see whether the thumb thumbnail we just set up will have will will appear on the same so let's exit from tecla structures and let's save that so we've now opened Tecla structure and we are now back to recent files that we opened. Now, uh, remember the name of our project was new model 31. So remember, if I come to new model 31, 30, I don't have any thumbnail. And if I come to shopping mall, I have the thumbnail there. So we created our thumbnail for the new model 31. So if I click on that, I'll be able to see it is here. And it will make it very easy for us if we are that particular person who doesn't, who doesn't uh, give his project names but goes by the default naming of the project by made by Tecla structures but you want that to be differentiated you want to differentiate that by image you can create the thumbnail here as easy as that thank you and don't forget to subscribe to this channel this is Maurice Dimba and let's meet then